Rape is a violent and brutal act against women. But what happens on rare occasion when women become pregnant by their assailant? Should abortion be an option? Today you'll meet individuals who are directly involved in these types of situations. Their comments may surprise you, and it may change the way you view pregnancy conceived in rape. Stay with us. Liz Carl is a graduate student at the University of Louisville, but just five years ago an event occurred that changed her life forever. In October of her senior year, Liz accompanied some friends to a college Halloween party in Lexington, Kentucky. She briefly met a guy, and when the party ended, he followed her home. He said he was just waiting for a ride, but while they were waiting, he drugged and raped Liz. Do you remember the incident at all? Whatever drug that he gave me kind of blocked my memory out. Um, so the next morning when I woke up, um, I, I, have a, I had a memory of crawling to the bathroom. I guess I just let myself believe that it didn't happen because I didn't remember it, and I didn't want it to happen. When did you first suspect you might be pregnant? Uh, when a little thing called Mother Nature forgot about me. And um, taking the pregnancy test, having a positive test that not only confirmed, you know, that I was pregnant, but it also confirmed the fact that I was raped. Because at that point I didn't have any memory. When I was 17. I, I, no one's ready at 17 to have a child. Um, did you ever consider an abortion? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I knew all about the pro-life issue. I knew all about abortion. And at that moment, it, everything just went out the window. Um, I had a problem, and I needed to fix it. Not a baby <laughs> problem. Um, and I definitely made an appointment uh, to murder my own child. So what was it that changed your mind from having an abortion to not? I set my alarm one night. I was fully planning on getting up the next morning to go to the abortion clinic, and my alarm didn't go off. And I overslept, and I just never rescheduled it. Um, I like to think that that I never would have ever done it, that I was just so scared and so vulnerable that I felt like that was my only option. I don't know. I guess it just clicked. Um, I knew it was right, and I had to do it. After choosing to not go through with an abortion, Liz decided to tell her sister Amy about the pregnancy on Thanksgiving Day. Amy was shocked, but encouraged Liz to tell their parents. It was devastating. I just, you know, nobody wants their senior and high school daughter to, you know, to tell them. Nobody wants to hear that their daughter is pregnant. And then much less to know on how it occurred. Was there any point where either one of you advised her to have an abortion? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Never would that have ever. And I'm so thankful to God she did not make that choice. The pregnancy was extremely tough on Liz. She was able to finish school, but every day was a challenge. Even as her parents were pressing charges against the rapist, Liz was in denial about everything that was happening. Terry finally suggested Liz seek counseling. It was during these sessions Liz first considered the option of adoption. When did you first consider adoption? I just, I wasn't a parent. I, there was just nothing, I, mean, I was, I was just so young. You know, I wanted my son to be, you have like, you know, what I had growing up. So, you know, a mom and a dad, um, you know, stable household. Uh, and I couldn't guarantee that. I wanted her to do what was best for her. Had she decided to parent, we would have supported her in that. You know, she had already gotten a scholarship offer. She'd always wanted to go away to school. She, there was just so many things. She just needed to, to um, weigh what was going to be best, not for her child, but was going to be best for her too. You know, she had this agenda and she just said, she used to say to me, Mom, I just feel like maybe God's asking this of me so that I can enable someone to be a family. And I thought, wow. And if that's what, her, that's her agenda, that's what she's thinking, then I'm not standing in her way for that. By making an adoption plan for her baby, Liz was able to give a loving couple the chance of becoming a family. 
The adoptive parents chose not to participate in this interview and asked to remain anonymous, but they're grateful and proud of the decision Liz made. They remained close to Liz during the pregnancy and were even at the hospital when she gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. Well, take me back to the day that you gave birth. It was a magical day. Um, it was July 9th, now almost five years ago. Um, it was a very medically perfect delivery, um, and it, you know, all the emotions that come, I was just, I was just so happy. Um, he was just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> um, it is um, almost unexplainable how much joy um, that you feel. When you, when you get to see your, your baby for the first time, um, especially after all we had been through in the last nine months, uh, just me and him. So it was, it was beautiful. It was magical. Five years since Liz gave birth, and her relationship with her birth son couldn't be better. As a result of an open adoption, Liz and her family get to spend a great deal of time with him and the adoptive parents. They've become a part of the family, and Liz couldn't imagine their lives without them. You know, like we, we do Christmases, and we've gone on vacation together, and um, yeah, it's, it's very open, more open than I would say most open adoptions. He has inspired me to, to be everything that I want to be. I mean, obviously he's changed her forever. Because once you're a mother, you're always a mother. In what ways? Good, bad? Good. I mean, yeah, very good, all of them, but I think she looks at life differently, probably for the better. And I think, I mean, there's no love like a mother's love. One of the reasons people argue for abortion in cases of rape is the children will be traumatized by the knowledge of how they were conceived. While Liz does worry about how her birth son will react when he finds out, she's confident his parents will make sure he knows he's cherished and loved. Uh, I don't, I don't think it would, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Uh, I know plenty of people who have been, were in the same shoes as him, and they're still valuable, beautiful people. You know, I can't look around the room and, and see who was conceived with wine and roses and who was conceived on the street corner. Um, you can't tell. You know, we're all human beings. We all have value. And um, I know that he'll see that. The argument we hear from people when a pregnancy occurs as a result of rape is that this will torment the woman forever if she chooses to go through with the pregnancy. What do you say to all of that? Well, I mean, she'll be the first to tell you she looks at that child and sees nothing but love. And I know she, she says that in her speeches. And mm -hmm. I believe there's statistics that say that nobody that's been raped and kept their baby has regretted it. But at least the majority, if not all, have regretted aborting. When I look at him, I've never seen anything but the love of my life, you know, this beautiful baby that I love so much. I've never looked at him and thought of anything else. You know, some well-meaning people feel that abortion should be allowed in the case of rape. What do you say to them? I think that an abortion is the worst thing in the world for a rape victim. Um, people do say that an abortion is like a second rape. Um, it's the re-victimization of, of the victim, and it's not, that's never good. I believe that life begins at conception. It doesn't matter how that life was conceived. So if I believe that, then there would be nothing that could justify terminating that life. Like Jason, Liz Carl has slowly begun sharing her story of becoming pregnant by rape and has seen the impact of her message. Liz's experience motivated her to study psychology and one day she hopes to counsel women in the areas of crisis pregnancy, adoption, or rape. She knows her story can give hope to other women. She also wants to spread the message that pregnancy by rape can result in happiness and love. What impact have you had on people when you told your story? I hope a lot. Um, I, I always felt that I was 
that you know I've, I've been giving this life for a reason, um, and that reason is to share. You know, you can do it. Uh, people tell me all the time, you know, you're so strong. You're so strong for doing that. And like, thank you, but all women are strong, and and all women are strong enough to to love their child enough to give them life.